Hello everybody, this is Havoc after a break from Three Kingdoms content to bring you more of a discussions video rather than the usual guide. I have a solid list of ideas for guides and other types of videos thanks to your comments on my last video on Monday and I very, very much appreciate that feedback. Three Kingdoms has already set the bar for depth in a vanilla Total War game in several areas, but there are some simple features and or reworks of current features that can create even more depth without losing your audience in graphs and a million sub-menus. Considering that this is a game that we will hopefully see several different DLCs and continuous support for several years, I think this is a pretty relevant topic to discuss. Three Kingdoms is Total War's first attempt at having an agent system without having physical units on the campaign map, and it has been met somewhat successfully for their first try. The premise is essentially this. Someone within your faction sneaks into the enemy faction and does some espionage to create some chaos. They can command an enemy army, they can be a governor, even become heir and eventually faction leader to the throne, which is all fantastic when it works, but Three Kingdoms is missing some key points that are also a topic of frustration, and as such, I'll go over my suggestions on what I think can be done to fix them. As always, let's dive in. One of my biggest complaints about a spy is pursuing an army or administration position only to get the, if an opportunity opens up, you'll get the job. It is infuriating to pursue a position and never get it, especially without any sort of percentage chance displayed anywhere on the odds even if you could get it. How do you solve this? It's pretty simple. Once you've established the spy network in an enemy faction, you then get a user interface breakdown of open army positions or open admin slots or even open court slots on the right hand side. This would be a quick and easy way to determine whether or not your spy could even get into one of these positions. If there aren't any positions open, you can choose to hang around and wait for an opening or just recall them and move on to the next faction. Instead of having your spy uselessly going after a position you don't know if he or she will ever get. Next up is the subject of turning another faction's discontent characters to your own cause. Obviously, right now you can only use spies that your own faction has recruited, but what if we could turn other characters to our side within that faction? There's already an action to kind of poke at these characters, but we rarely if ever see results from it, just it hurts the faction. How could this work? Setting up a network already shows a satisfaction rating of all characters next to their names. This lets you focus on which characters to play your actions on. Off the top of my head, I can think of a few new actions that you could do to turn those characters. You could bribe an administrator to turn over a city or even a province over to your faction. You could take that discontent of a character and his closest friends within that faction and make them leave and even if just to the recruitment pool. It could have serious repercussions if they're a high enough level. There are some other actions that could be done, but I'll bring those up in the next section as they kind of go hand in hand. These actions would, of course, take a massive amount of both your cover and undercover network for your spy, but the implications could be massive if played correctly. And I'd be more than willing to bargain money, positions, or even throw in a nice little wooden fish to convince these characters to turn against their own master. When deciding who to use for spies, strategists are going to naturally be the best type. But I found myself using all character types mainly due to just demand. With such an emphasis on characters divided into roles within Three Kingdoms, it really surprised me to find there are no specialized actions when those different character types become spies. Why are there not specialized roles? No clue. This may not have been an easy thing to include, maybe they tried it and it didn't work right. But honestly, I don't see a valid reason why there isn't such a role. Your strategist should be the only ones that can wreck supplies, food, or the economy. Commanders should be geared towards army actions, reducing morale or campaign movement, and for the love of God, give us the ability to assassinate any character we want to, as a champion spy though. Adding these role-specific actions would add some serious depth and give you a purpose for spying. If I know my champion can assassinate anyone, I'd use him to kill off some high-ranking generals of a faction before I go to war with them. If my strategist could force the enemy to have negative food for several turns, it'll knock down the replenishment of his armies. We've had agent-specific roles in, I think, every single Total War game to date with the exception of Thrones, so I don't see why that can't be implemented into Three Kingdoms in a future update. The last area is more of a wish of mine rather than anything consequential, as this would require some pretty serious working to implement. More often than not, a spy's purpose was to gather enemy information or to mislead their enemy with false information, historically speaking. And in games like Civilization, 
Spying would reveal the plans of other factions, or even if you had a good relationship with those factions, you would get something like, this faction is building up troops, or this faction might declare war on you soon. A highly trained spy should be able to find this information out in Three Kingdoms, and also allow you to use it as a bargaining tool. For instance, if my spy found out that a faction is going to war with someone I'm friendly with, I can go to them and we can negotiate a price for that information. Another one, as I mentioned, is leaking false information. What if during a war in Three Kingdoms I could leak that one of my cities, a iron mine, or even a major city is unguarded and use that to set up an ambush? Or I could leak that a certain faction is weak and ready to be conquered, causing a war not unlike what Cao Cao does with his proxy wars. This targeted misinformation campaign that your spies could make would let you set up and control your military operations or just simply give you a leg up strategically. It's something that I think would be a fantastic asset that only requires a few extra boxes of UI actions in the spy network area. I honestly don't think that any of the options presented in this video are outside the realm of reality. Spying right now is one of the more confusing and foggy areas of Three Kingdoms. I get questions about it all the time on this mechanic. And to be completely honest, you can complete your campaigns just as easily without using it, which, I mean, any mechanic that isn't being used in a game means that it's not a very good one and should either be scrapped entirely or completely revamped. But using the spy system can give you a more in-depth and immersive experience that can lead to some really cool things happening in your campaigns. I just think it needs some work, and people would use it a heck of a lot more, and it would certainly add some depth. That's all for today's video on how to add depth to Total War Three Kingdoms. Let me know what you think on the subject in the comments section down below. Are there other aspects that you think would add depth to this game? Let me know about that as well. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with all things strategy and Total War. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.